Hey guys, it's Goof Flip here, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do portals for my latest video, uh, Portal Suicide, or whatever it's called. Um, now, here you've got the footage, and you can see there's my blue piece of plastic, which made the door look so shit. Um, I'm just going to show you how to do the blue portal. So I'm just going to use this part almost as a static frame. So to do that, I'm going to go up to Edit and split the layer. You can delete the bottom layer and bring this over to the start. And now just to stretch it over a long period of time, you're going to right click, go up to time and make it a freeze frame. And then you can just drag that as long as you want. And you've just got that same scene. It was on a tripod, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't move. So now to make the portal, what you want to do is you want to find a portal like this on uh, Google Images. I just found it. Make sure it's got a black background. You can do that by searching it as a PNG or whatnot. And that means that when you bring it on, it will look like this. By the way, the reason the quality looks so bad is because I've got it on quarter, so it renders quickly. If you put it on full, uh, it looks much nicer. I'm just going to keep it on quarter. So there's the base of our portal. Ignore the image in the middle because we'll sort that out in a bit. So you want to select the portal. Okay, so now you want to go up to Effect, Distort, and Ripple. And you want to center this dot and then change the radius. Now the higher you change the radius, the more distorted it will get. And if you play this, you see that it has um, ripples around the sides. I think that's a bit too much, so I'm just going to take it down slightly. It's just subtle, but it adds something to it. And now we want to do the center. Um, if you have another portal already open, as soon as you shoot this portal, what should happen is you should see an image through it. I didn't do that on mine because I didn't realize that would make it look better until after I'd finished filming. But what you want to do is you want to go to land new and make a new solid, and you want it to be a white solid. Then you want to go to effects, noise and grain, and fractal noise and you'll get this effect which if you've seen my static video for static noise um, that will be familiar to you but now you want to change it to swirly from basic to swirly and then you want to go down to transform and you want to make the scale larger okay. then you want to go to the start of your composition See evolution, you want to click the stopwatch. Take um, your current time indicator to the end of your composition and change this to three. Now if you play through it, you've got this swirling sort of effect. So let's position this roughly over um, our portal. And we can make a mask, we can use um, something called an ellipse mask. And this will basically give us the same shape. So, the same shape as our portal, like that. Now if you just select the mask, you can move it and position it into the center of your portal. So now, when you play, you've got this effect. The final thing to do is colour. To change the colour of the fractal noise, what you want to do is you want to go to Effect, you want to select the fractal noise first. Go to Effect, Colour Correction, Hue Saturation. And you can colourise it. And by using this, you can change its colour completely. This is useful for many things, but right now, we just want to get the same coloured blue. Not exactly the same. I used it that colour. You can change the saturation of it to uh, try and match up with what you want. I'm just going to leave it at that. Now final thing you can do to make it fit in is go to the mask, double tap M, and then feather out the mask. Like this. 
now it just seems to blend in slightly more. Okay, this has been Goofy Flip with a tutorial on how to make portals. Uh, I'm not going to be making a video for a while because I'm going on camp, but when I do, I've got some more ideas which I'd like to try. I'm going to spend some more time on my videos. And remember to subscribe if you haven't, rate and comment, and I'll see you soon.